ओह स्टार so guys uh, welcome back uh, to the test robot automation i'm pranav here back again uh, so thank you guys thank you for uh, giving me some comments on my last video and uh, yeah pretty much uh, i think i already promised you like we going to see some end to end testing uh, uh, with this particular shopping cart page right so uh, what are we going to we going to look here today uh, like i will log in with my credentials okay and here is my credential i will what i gonna do i can say okay test mm -hmm. sorry test one two three four okay i log in with my credential over here and i click on this shop card i click on this notebook uh, and tablet and i come here and i click on this hd c touch hd i click on add to cart then i click on view cart okay then i come here and change the quantity update the quantity okay and i go and click on this uh, checkout button okay and i come here and say uh, place in green box something like that okay and i click on this um, terms and conditions and i click on continue and then i verify my product is displayed which is uh, hd touch id this is product this is quantity this is the price and this is the total which i will verify it and then i click on my uh, confirm order and i should land on this page this is my final validation right so this is the end goal of our uh, end to end testing but let's see how we can achieve this one so probably pretty much for the prerequisite Uh, what i have done i have found all the locators and all the actions and everything so what uh, this time what i haven't uh, i haven't uh, done anything like a data and locator columns over here i have just hard coded out the test case i just want to show you like in the previous session we used the storage state right we used the storage state okay then how we can re enable this storage state um, by using uh, by using the data Uh, uh of the of the last test so let's say uh, i log in uh, so let me come back over here and go back 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 okay so my first test case, case will be click on shop cart uh and click on notebook and yeah this is my first test case and i uh, i i should land on this page right and then from here i will take this storage state from here okay and place it into my second uh, second test case this is something like a chaining test case right uh, so uh, this is actually when you are use when you have uh, uh, definitely parallel testing this is not a parallel testing this is a chaining test let's say in some scenario you need some test cases that need to be executed first and then sub and then after that another test case should be executed something like that okay i think many of you guys might have seen in selenium test ng where we can uh, give this kind of issue, this kind of things like okay i want to in the xml file we can add like okay i want to execute this particular uh, test case first and then this test case i hope uh that that's pretty much it is right but if you can see guys uh, i have just designed this whole test case the full test case here okay this is the whole, this is the full test case right over here i have designed it okay uh which is a very big and do you think it is not actually feasible either to run this much big test case uh in the so in your local everything is look fine right but when your it comes to the uh, ci cd so let me just put it here as ci cd uh, pipeline okay it is not feasible to uh, run this much big test case over here so um, it will definitely fail somehow and somehow it will uh, it gonna um, it gonna not validate our end code right so let me show you uh what is happening here so if i go open my terminal okay i have just placed that uh, name as the ci cd okay ci cd and i just going to run in headed it 
definitely it will it 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 will uh, awake everything should be fine but uh it is very tedious when it comes to the ci cd uh it is not feasible you cannot place this much big test case in inside your ci cd right though it took 12 seconds to pass right but still it is not feasible to place place this much big test case so what i have done here i have split this test case into the parts okay uh this is the this is another test case. So how you can run in a serial mode? This is a parallel mode. And how you can run in a serial mode? You can say describe configure mode to serial. And what I have done, I'm saying uh, let state URL. I'm just saying providing one variable state URL. Okay. And yeah, you can provide into the empty string as well as you can provide it as a normal saying let okay, let straight as a URL over here. And what I'm doing, I have done here, test one, verify user is, uh, uh, user, user is able to, sorry, able to select laptop from the shop category. And this is my card, right? And then second test case, uh, uh, and this, these are my steps given I navigate to my dashboard page of e-commerce website and I click on the shop cart option and i click on the laptop notebooks then i should verify the landing page uh, uh landing page and the heading is laptops right so i have just provided this expect page okay add by rule heading heading name is laptop and is visible okay this is how i have provided all the hard coded all the locators we can do that uh, data driven testing over here but it will be really tedious uh, to cover that whole session in one particular video so what i have done i have just pre-requisite uh i have just got I have, I have i have got all the locators right and everything is placed in the particular file okay now let's say await oh test or step and given i navigate to the laptop page and uh okay verify the user is able to add item to the cart okay so i'm saying given i navigate to the laptop page okay and what i'm giving here i'm giving the state url okay so that means uh, I'm capturing the state URL over here. Can you see the last at my last day uh, st step? I'm capturing the state URL and I'm placing that state URL into this particular particular test case, right? Right. So this is a state URL and I'm just placing this state URL into this particular another test case, right? And similarly, uh, verify the user is able to uh, add the item to the cart. Okay, given I navigate to the laptop page and uh, and the heading is heading is laptop. Okay, and then I have saying, okay, I can remove this given and instead of this given, I can say and and I verify uh, uh, click over on HTCP. So I have, I'm just clicking on this uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, particular mobile phone. Okay and then uh yeah and and i click on add to cart so when i click over here okay and i click on add to cart so i'm clicking on add to cart okay and i click on the view cart button and navigate to the shop cart page right so if i go and click on this add to cart and then i can go to view cart okay and i navigate to the shop cart page right so after i navigate uh to the shop cart page mm, one second where am i yeah i took card and i navigate to the shop cart page so view card uh, and i click on view card and i click on view card button and navigate to the shop cart page okay right and then i should verify i should land on the shop cart page so this is my shop cart page okay this is the state. I am just again, again capturing that state over here. Okay. And placing the similar state into my next test case now. Okay. So now what I'm doing, I'm saying, okay, uh, I given a navigate to the shop cart page. Now I'm directly going to the cart page. Okay. And I update the quantity to five and click on update button. So this is a quantity. I go and update it to five and I click on this update button right okay this is a uh, another step and then I, I click on the checkout 
okay and if you come down and click on this checkout okay and i fill the comment uh, comment form so where is my comment form i'll just see here is my comment form i fill up the comment form what i'm what i'm filling in my comment form uh okay and i feel sorry give me a second yeah and i fill up my comment form place in the green box so i'm saying place in green box or you can say anything like uh put the part put the parcel in the green box or something like that i'm just saying place in place place in the green, green box okay that's and then i'm saying okay and I click on terms and conditions checkbox. So this is my checkbox I'm clicking. Okay. And I click on this continue button. Okay. And once I've clicked on continue button. Okay. What I'm doing. So. Yeah. I need to click on terms and conditions. And I click on uh, continue button. Once I click on this continue button. Then this is a table. Can you see? This is a table. So what I'm saying here. Expect. Uh, page dot locator. Uh, touch THT ID. So this is the one product name is visible. Then I'm saying model is visible and then I'm saying quantity is visible and price is visible and total is visible. We can also add one more thing here saying like, okay, we can grab the this particular uh, attribute and say this uh, expect this particular locator to be this locator. But all right, and then uh, this locator should be a uh, name as a product one, and we have a quantity which is five. So we can add this, uh, that assertion over here more if you want to assert more. But for now, I'm saying just visible, okay. And after that, so after every then block, I'm capturing my state, okay, state URL and, and place it into uh, place that as, as a page URL, right. And after this, what I'm doing uh test four validate the order confirmation so like and i'm saying uh, i'm going again back and i'm clicking on the button which is confirm my order and i'll end to this page uh, your order has been placed right so by uh, and i should verify uh landing on the page heading your order has been placed right so this is your order has been placed and uh, URL containing is checkout success, right? So this is checkout success. Okay, simple, right? If you have any issue, uh, just let me know into the comment sec section. Like if you think like um, um, anything you need to add, uh, just put it in the comment box and I will try to answer my best. And if you have any uh, relative issue of uh, designing this type of framework, uh, if you run into any other issue, you can just put into the comment box and I can, I will, I will try my best to answer it. Right. So now let's run this, uh, test case, right? Okay. So I just, what I want to do, I want to showcase you, right? So I can say, I uh, what I, I will same as uh, last time. If you guys now have seen my last video, we will put, uh, the debug point on each test case, right? And we are going to take it from there. So after navigating here, I will say, let me just copy paste it, right? Okay. Control C. After navigating over here, I want this state. After navigating here, I want this state. Okay. And after doing all this, I want this state. Okay. So guys, this is the beauty of this uh, particular uh, use state storage, which is a auth.user um, JSON, which we placed in uh, last lecture. We did this whole file, created this whole file, how we created it. We have uh, thoroughly explained you in my last lecture. Okay. And now let me just go and run this uh, add to cart uh, dashboard, add to cart here, yeah. add to cart spec.js. Okay, and let me just instead of CICD, what I'm gonna do, I just push this as cart, right? So if you can see, I have given cart as a uh, grab here. Okay, so now if I go and run this test case, it will just invoke one test case at a time, it won't invoke every test case, right? 
this is the beauty of uh, sequential running right and if i click on this you click on shop to cart click here it goes to this notebook page click here okay and went to the laptop and it closed the test case now the another test case is running now okay and our, our uh, browser is already there right and if i go and again click here it clicking on this uh, mobile phone click here it clicking on that mobile phone and then it comes to this page okay then if i click here so you can see when we are going actually yes so it is actually going to this view card and it will click here and it will come to this page then i should verify and click done okay now it is opening the other test case here look my browser is not closing right uh, my browser is still there my inspector is just opening the new test case here okay this is a beauty and i go click here and update this quantity to five and then click on update okay so i have updated we can also verify this success your uh, success message here uh, we can validate that as well and yeah then what is happening i am clicking on this uh, comment box and i will place saying uh, place in the green box and click here so this is actually going to the continue button somewhere in towns down is there give me a second let me just try to oh, it's hiding somewhere okay and you click on that it clicks on that continue button okay and it came to this uh this particular uh table right and i'm saying expect this is visible the product is visible okay then quantity is visible right price is visible and the total is visible and now look my browser is still there just my inspector is opening here okay then i'm saying i want uh, to click on this uh, where we are going okay we are clicking on the confirmation order right and when i click on confirmation order then i should land to this page okay so can you see i'm validating this uh, heading and i click on here it's validating the whole page url and that's it my shop test case is finished and if i just go and click on this npx report okay so first test kit verify user is able to select the laptop from the shop category given and navigate to my dashboard page and right very nicely uh, placed everything here then second test case given a uh, verify the user is able to add item to the cart and given and navigate to the this one right okay then uh this is uh verify the uh verify user is able to update the quantity and fill up the comment uh, for order and so this is very big test case uh, we have already defined but yeah this it is and this is the validation where did the order confirmation page card right okay so pretty much this it is and so yeah uh let's do one more thing let's try to run the whole framework now okay what i will do uh so wherever i'm putting the pause i just need to remove those pauses right i don't want this pause now because we already seen all the test cases into the debug mode so yeah so whenever you are running into very big test cases right i would suggest you to use the storage state okay so what it will do it will actually take the storage from the previous test case and it will go and run it from there we don't have to go and re uh, redo uh, everything okay that is my suggestion actually but still look we haven't given this uh, uh, this state over here right but still it is there because it's a last stage the last 
test case okay all right i think it it is actually i uh, just have to give once but let's see uh yeah because i haven't given over here and still it is getting me this uh, that storage of login and yeah yeah, also it is getting me the storage of login. Let me just double check in my config.json file. I haven't got any storage state. Look, I have just commented out all my storage state over here. Okay, so everything is coming from the uh, from this e-commerce. So let's try to rerun the whole framework now. So one more thing I will say I don't want to run is uh, on my add to cart. You know, we defined that whole big test case for the previous one. Here, this is this is one. So this has a storage state, but I don't want to run this. So what I can do, I can just come here, test dot skip. Okay, so this will smartly skip my test case, right? That particular test case. Okay, and I will just run all my whole framework. I think it will be 15 test cases running. Very good. It Ravi ran into some issue. Let's see what is the issue. Yes, because you know, I'm providing a grab, but I'm not providing the information. So I just need to remove the grab as well. What I need is just a reporter list and headed. I don't think we need headed, right? We don't need headed. One second. Okay, we're just going to provide the reporter, HTML, and list. Okay, and let's run the whole framework. Oh wow, it's taking 17 test cases now. So look how far we went. We just went with one test cases, one test case, one test case, and now we are with the 17 test cases in our framework. Okay. And look, that one, this test case will skip, the one which is in a blue, that will get skipped. Okay. And it's so, hard and really fast okay look why it is taking here some time because it is sequential order all the other test cases run into the parallel mode but only this test case which are sharing the data between each other are running into the particular sequence look and i update the quantity uh, to five and click on the update button so guys bear with me oh wow it failed something let's see what is failed <laughs> oh my god right see why well, it is failing okay it is not able to validate this uh, particular locator okay Let's see what is the issue okay guys uh, so now i have fixed the issue actually there was some uh, locator which was giving uh, uh, this particular issue and yeah we are actually skipping this particular test case as uh, i discussed before um, we're just going to run everything together the whole f as a whole framework now i think it will run 16 test cases now together and uh, yeah and what i will suggest is you know playwright config.json okay when you're running into the framework you don't need uh, your authentication getting failed because tomorrow uh, uh tomorrow there could be some uh somebody you can run into issue say this authentication is not working so before doing anything i want to validate my authentication right so what are we gonna, we gonna do uh, so tomorrow when we are into uh, the cicd pipeline okay at that time we don't want to fail our test case right we so we have to first create the setup the setup okay and then it will handle it automatically everything okay so uh yeah i'm just giving the command which is npx play right test hyphen hyphen report html list because i like to view everything in uh command uh in our console i think it will run 17 test cases now right first it will set up the authentication look i told you first it will go and set up the authentication okay and once the authentication is done and then it will try to rerun uh, run all the test cases into the parallel mode okay 
so this is how you have to give uh, set up your project and we are nearly here we have set up this whole project uh, it's almost 17 risk cases uh, in any high uh, in any good firm uh, that could be a 17 at least 17 test cases should be there in the regression test uh, uh, regression test case right okay. i just failing now let's see what is the issue Okay guys, uh, so we run everything together and it's like 11 test cases fast and 5 failed. You know what is the major issue why it failed? Because we are providing other session storage over here. We don't need to provide the session storage here. Because this will go and fail our all login test cases will be getting failed. Right? Because there it is actually uh, getting the session uh, from, um, we, we, are, we don't have to hard code the session. What is this? CLS, yes. We don't have to hard code a session. We just have to uh, uh, use the session into our storage. But at least we have to run the setup. Okay. So let's rerun the test case now. And if I run the npx player test, I have a report HTML list. Let's see what happened. I think it will go and first set up the authentication. Oh, sorry. Right. So it is actually setting up the authentication here now. So once the authentic authentication is done, we'll go and run all the test cases, right? So we will not run into any other problem now. And this one we are actually skipping because it's a very long test case, which we discussed it, it before, right? Okay. Everything is running fine. We got our 16 test cases now in our project. 16, say, yes, 16, because one is authentication, right? And everything is fine uh and if i just go and run and check the report okay right so look at this look at this it's a very good report you can give this report to anyone and showcase like okay how uh, uh this is how i have uh done my test cases and uh, even even if you want what we're gonna do today uh, we can do uh, is uh, let go to my other um, Chrome account because I think we already have. If I go and place ask here to uh, Netlify login something, sign up for my Netlify account, okay, and uh, sign up with my GitHub. Let me just sign up with my GitHub for now. So yeah, this is my test over GitHub authorizing. Netlify is authorizing. Authorizing, okay. And I'm gonna say this is my personal. Uh, say something else. Whatever you want to say. Uh, building the project. Uh, others. Uh, project name. Say something. Say let's give our name test over automation and continue to deploy and write and yeah deploy your first project but we don't have any first project uh, uh, get started with another way or yeah uh, try and if I draw okay look so now if I just gonna uh, get this uh, give this uh, come here to my project sorry come here to my project and I find this particular playwright report folder okay right click and reveal into the file explorer and this playwright report I just go and put this report folder over there over here okay drop it so you will see the magic of netlify uh getting started done okay and if i go to sites here build 
site. Okay, I think this is the one. Yeah, and if I go and click here on Netlify, my report is live here. I can give this report to anybody and say, uh, put uh, I, I will go and put this report link into the description so you guys can uh, uh you guys can also access this report and see this report okay so uh, my report is live so this is how you have to give so what we're gonna do we're gonna as we are doing everything as a manual step instead of that uh, we will deploy this report um with the github okay so uh, whenever our test case will be run, let's say our test case is running in one particular branch. So let's say tomorrow I come here and uh, open one branch saying, let's say, uh, if I say git, uh, I don't think it says a git uh, status here. So if I just say git status, okay, I need to first initialize my git and everything. So this we will see into our next lecture, but yeah. This is the way we have to deploy our report. We will see all our reports. So we can see HTTPS, equivalent, Dragon, blah, 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 and Netlify. So this is how we're gonna deploy our report, but this report deployment is done manually. We want something like whenever our test case get run, uh, it goes to contact our GitHub and GitHub contact to our Netlify and Netlify provide us a report. So when you are running the, uh, when you are pushing the project into the branch, then it goes to the branch report. And when you are pushing the project to the main, so uh, maybe every day we have to uh, see like, okay, every day our uh, so our build get runs. So uh, we have to plan our project uh, like every day, four o'clock or five o'clock in the morning or maybe midnight, our project get run, uh, the regression uh, pack get run and we have to validate all those results. That's the job of a QA engineer. Uh, so, we, what we're going to do, we're going to deploy everything, um, uh, everything and set the whole project. Okay. So this is the beauty of this particular project, guys. Hope you like this session. And yes, if you like it, just comment it, share it with your friends, ask me questions. I'm happy to answer any questions you ask me. Okay. And yes. And we're going to maybe next time we're going to see all those CICD and all those stuff. So guys, thank you for watching my video and thank you for uh, giving uh, subscribing my channel. Thank you. Bye.